This is so cool. Hello. Okay, so uh, we are doing another big geocache in Massachusetts. This one is pretty popular. It has 496 favorites. So this cache is a little different because it is a letterbox hybrid. And if you don't know what that is, letterboxing is another um, hobby that's really, really similar to geocaching. I think just the difference is um, you don't need like a GPS for it you you figure out the location other ways and then instead of signing the log um every letterbox has like a stamp in it and you use and you put that stamp and you stamp your letterboxing uh notebook anyways um but then a lot of people will kind of combine them and so it'll be a letterbox and a geocache so you can find them both through the letterboxing website or the geocache app um yeah okay so this one says this is an average cache in an unusual setting. Starting about 250 feet south of the cache, look for a trailside vignette, a door in a tree. The birdhouse associated with this vignette has a number on the bottom and the next two birdhouses along the trail have numbers also. The four digits in order represent the combination for the cache locks. To open, dial the combination and to press the shackle. Okay, okay. Yeah. So it looks like we're gonna have to find some uh, birdhouses first. Let's go. Okay, so uh, we're gonna start up this trail. Uh, we noticed that there's this tiny little birdhouse on this little tree next to the trail marking. Um, maybe that's what the birdhouses that we're looking for look like, a painted rock. What's on it? That's cute. We should put it, we'll find a good spot for it. Okay, so this is literally uh, where uh, fairies live. <laughs> I think those are more little painted rocks over there. All right, I'm gonna put this one back with its brethren. This is cool. All right, here's another little trail marker. So cute and tiny. Oh, and this one has a painted rock as a hat. Very nice. A birdhouse fell. A little birdhouse. All right, so what did we find? The tree. It's kind of adorable. Who's in there? A, a little fairy is in there. <laughs> oh my god, Allison, it's how did they trap you? So she just sits there. Yeah. Um. <laughs> all right. Does the does this one have a number? Is this or is it just the this is the after? this is like the one where it's like I think we have to like search. We have to. Okay, wait. Let me read. Let me read it again. <laughs> is this even the the door of the tree? Okay, it actually still says that we're 80, 90 feet from the door in a tree. So this just might be, uh, this just is Might a just be a really cute Easter egg. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh, my. What do we have here? Okay. Here's the door. Mm. And then it says the birdhouse associated. There it is. Because the difference is the trail markers were hollow, but this has a this bottom. Ha All right, so it's, so it's one. Okay. Woo! Okay, so the there's no Sam. Look, there, you almost missed it. No, the second you. birdhouse right here. We've got thirty-two, and then looking for our last one. I don't know what this is. It's probably something. Looks like there's a little scene on the ground here. I guess, I don't know, is this just like what the community does in these woods? They make little scenes out of little toys. Cause I'm here for that. And then here's the last one. And it's... <laughs> is it a six or a nine? I think now that I think about it, it's probably a nine. I think so too. So what is it, one, three, two, nine? One, three, two, nine. All right. Okay, so now we're going to start navigating to the um, coordinates for the actual cache. 
now that we know how to unlock it when we get there. So I don't know what it is about these woods, but it's just the prettiest little trinkets. It seems like people like to put their trinkets in the woods. A woodsy gal. I'm so excited. What is it? I feel like you're a sucker for a footbridge. No, like, what, like, this is, like, so cool. What is going on? There's so many things to look at. Wait. So let's just start. It's a railroad. First of all, yeah, let's start there. Oh, my God. So they just have this whole thing set up so that like kids can just play on this with their little trains and it's just trinkets. I feel like that's such like a community vibe because I feel like a lot of stuff like this could get destroyed so easily. Mm. We gotta find the actual cache now. So let's just, I'm not even gonna like look at the coordinates, I'm just gonna, okay, so here's... I think that you literally just stumbled upon it. Yeah. So we've got this. Uh, this someone uh, wrote the combination on here. That's not very nice, but okay. <laughs> See, I worked in an escape room. I feel like I should know these things. <laughs> there. Yeah. Huzzah. And then is this the same thing? I just can't. One more. One more. Just take a look at that. Okay, so no, it, that, that's, this is for both of them. It's the same code for both? Yes. All right. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Dun dun! Ah! Here she is. Oh, a little spider. Oh, here, this is a trackable. Disney DuckTales. DuckTales? I'm pretty sure this is a... Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna take this trackable, and I guess we'll move it on. Mm-hmm. Probably today or tomorrow, because <laughs> <laughs> we can't stop. Ah! Witchy! Happy Halloween! It is the season! I feel like I must now. How do you feel? Uh, this is so cool. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. Someone wrote August of coronavirus, when will it end? Not October. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, so, I'll use their pen. Okay, so I think I might just take this Pez dispenser because, I don't know, I just love this cash so much. <laughs> And I want something to remember it by. Um, I don't know where I have my little bag of trading stuff uh, that I had back at home, but I have a thing of stickers here. Here, here's some, here's some Boston tea stickers. <laughs> I don't know. I think the nice and topical. I think, I think yeah. the locals might like that. I feel like someone can might come down here and be like, ah, uh, yes, the green line. That's my line. <laughs> I also think there's like a spider egg sack in there, but... Let's not say the phrase spider egg sack in front of me, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then, so here's the other thing, okay? Is... So, I said that this was a letterbox hybrid. Um, but what I learned is that this isn't actually the letterbox. There's, there's another thing around here that's the letterbox, and it said... You might want to go to the letterboxing website for details on how to find and unlock that. So I just say we do it because um, I can't deal with the fact that there is more treasure in the <laughs> railroad in the woods. Uh, so we have to find that.
<laughs> All right, so we turn the corner and here we see this. So this is obviously the letterbox. So there's the letterbox, there's the geocache. Um, two hobbies that are very alike, but these locks have keys. So I'm guessing the keys are around here. Okay, so Sam found letterboxing website and yeah. then it says... To open the letterbox, you have to locate the black pouch under the seat of one of the benches. It holds the key to your success. Yeah, I hope so. Us, yeah. I hope so. <laughs> All right, guys, have a nice day. You too. Okay, so we took a quick pause because there were people <laughs> who were uh, walking up near us. We didn't want to make them uncomfortable. I was wearing my mask, I promise. <laughs> and I guess they, or one of the guys does the upkeep of this little place and he just made a new little toy box um to keep here he was having a hard time getting around so he asked if you wouldn't mind uh putting the toys in the toy box before you leave and i was like i would be more than happy to because this is the coolest thing ever and he knew he knew exactly what we were here for he was like the letterbox and the geocache yeah. and we're like the geocache but now it's the letterbox yeah um but yeah, now our quest continues to find the pouch under the bench. It says something, railroad. 1999 plus 1998. So they've been keeping up this since 98. So cool. So, on a whim, I looked under, I mean, this is, this is the geocache that we were just at. I looked under and see this. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. So there is a key. Do you think it opens both locks? I think so. Oh my goodness. The bugs. Look at all the signatures away. though. Yeah. Alright, so this is the letterbox. Oh, I would love I wish I had I like did letterbox. I need to I think I should probably start having a book <laughs> and then maybe one day I'll have to come back here and and stamp it. A little different than geocachers. Looks like they write they're like writing notes. That's really cute. Hmm. I've been coming to this spot for 15 plus years. Now my kids get to experience it. Yeah. Like people will have like their own stamp and so they put their stamps in the book. Just. See, I kind of like that. Yeah. I would get my own. Something else I found when we were talking to them was this. So we we're pretty sure this is just uh, there's a train in here, and whoever uh, comes and maintains this place probably has the locks to this to open and run the train. Uh, maybe there's pictures of it happening. Would love to see that. Uh, but yeah, okay, this is the depot. Coolest geocache I think I've ever found. This, this literally has, this has made my life. So in 2019, a uh, tree fell on the track um, and so they had organized like um, a gathering to take it down completely but then people in the neighborhood uh, decided to organize instead um, a rebuilding party which is really cute um, and so they kind of saved it and now other people take care of the track and the guy who made it is more of a, he called himself a senior advisor. But yeah, cute community shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so uh, that's it for this cache. Um, I had thought that I might have put this um, in a video of a bunch of other caches we're gonna find, but I think this one deserves its own video. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was the coolest find ever. Definitely my favorite um, that I've ever found. And yeah, thanks for coming with us. <laughs>